I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to take you through some settings just that you can do in Design Space for desktop that will make your life a little bit easier. So we're going to come up to the settings bar, which is always at the top of Design Space on desktop. You can see here we've got lots of options. We're going to select settings. So the first setting is for how you save your projects. So you can choose to save them to the cloud and computer or cloud only. If you save on the cloud, then obviously you can access them from any device. If you save to the computer, then you can access them from that specific device and the cloud. I always choose computer and cloud. I just find it gives you that extra backup, but you can of course have cloud only and you'll be able to access from any app. There's not a huge amount of difference. I just think if there was something to go wrong with the cloud, at least if I open Design Space up on this computer, it would have the projects that I've created. Next, we've got Canvas Grid. So this is quite helpful in terms of when you're creating other designs and you need to use your grid. And it's also great for when you don't want a grid. So for example, if you're doing mock-ups and you're going to take screenshots from Design Space to use on other applications, having no grid is great. So you've got the option to have a full grid, which obviously looks like this. And at the moment, my canvas is set to inches. We can have a partial grid. So this is a partial grid. Now I'm currently set to inches. So my partial grid is in inch blocks. If I was set to centimeters, it's set to 10 centimeter blocks. So as you can see in centimeters, this is what your partial grid looks like. And of course I can select no grid, which gives me just a blank canvas. As I say, this is great for if you want to take screenshots in Design Space or you want to create mock-ups, having the option to remove that grid just gives you a nice clean surface to work with. The other thing you can do in your settings is change from Imperial to metric. So Imperial is inches, which is what I'm currently set to, and metric is centimeters. So you can see that I'm now in centimeters. I tend to work in inches just because that's what I like to work off with my mats. I like to work with my mats in inches. So I'd like to keep my canvas in inches, but there are some times where centimeters work better for me. So for example, if I am working to a specific measurement and it's easier to measure in centimeters, then I'll change my canvas to centimeters. It just means that I'm working with exact figures. As I say, I tend to work in inches, but it's always really handy to be able to switch between the two. So again, metric is centimeters, imperial is inches. I just wanted to take you through those three very quick settings because believe it or not, you do find that you, when you really get into the designing, that you use them quite a lot, especially metric and imperial and also the grids. So it is really handy to know that you can A, change them and B, how to change them. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you all again soon. If you've got any questions, please do leave them below. Give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.